Alright, so I'm going to show you how to flash any PSP models and how to download it, download games to it. So, I'm going to use the E1000, but it, it works with 1000, 2000, 3000 and PSP Go. So first, um, you should find this link in my description, mediafire.com. Click on that link, it should take it to this site, PSP 6.60 Pro. Simply download it, but uh, I've already done uh, downloaded it, so... Uh, okay, so I've saved it. I've saved it to my desktop. Just double-click it and extract these uh, four files. Now, what are you going to do now? Plug in PSP into PC, so we'll go ahead and plug it in. And go to USB mode. Uh, uh, click on the uh, open folder to view files. Uh, yeah, or go to computer and removable hard disk. Now, this ISO, ISO file shouldn't really be here for now. All these uh, five other files should be here, but not the ISO. So you go ahead and click PSP and game. Once you're here, you just simply select the four files and uh, just copy and drag them into this folder right here. You can exit that one down and. Uh, Alright, so uh, let me show you how to apply the uh, flash things. The flash. When you're on the menu, you go to game and you go down to memory stick. Well, first of all, when it's the G, when you press the uh, select button, Nothing's happening, so just remember that. Um, go to memory stick and run the pro update. If you have four files, run pro update. Yeah, so remember that when you press the select button, nothing was happening. Remember that. So a lot of text should come up. When this come up, you press the uh, the X button, and again, and there you go. Your PSP is now flashed. So now, when you press the uh, select button, this menu should come up. If that menu's up, it means which means that your PSP is now flashed. So yeah, now you can every time you put your PSP to sleep mode and putting it on again, it's still uh, flashed. But every time you completely shut down your PSP. And put it on again. You can see when I press the select button, nothing's happening. Because every time you shut off your PSP, it will be unflashed. But you don't have to run the pro update. You run the memory you go to memory stick and run the fast recovery. So when you put your PSP to flash uh, to uh, sleep mode, it will automatically, automatically uh, start up flashed, but if you totally shut it off, it will be unflashed, but then just simply run the fast recovery, and it's... Okay, so <clears throat> when you're back on the PC, and you're plugging the PSP, We are on sterile. It's pretty small. Let's let me make it big. Oh, there we go. We are now on step six. Download a ISO or CSO. So, if you let me go to my PSP games, you should see here. Type ISO file. If it says ISO, 
I said file. It should work, and also if it says CSO, but I'm totally recommending ISO file. It's a bigger file, but it's a better file. So yeah, uh, these games can be found on uh, a lot of websites, but I'm gonna use Pirate Bay. I'm mostly using Pirate Bay, so let's take a game like Star Wars Battle Front. Let's uh, type PSP after. So yeah, it's a PSP game. Select one of the games and download it. I'm not gonna download it because it takes a few hours, like one or two, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I have the game right here. Let me just. So now you go to your computer and remove the disk. And now you should see this ISO file. When you flash your PSP, you should find this ISO file. But first, you can go to PSP and game. And uh, you can remove all these files. You can remove. But you keep the fast recovery. So you can, uh, every time you totally shut down your PSP, you can run the fast recovery. So I recommend that you keeping that. Now go to ISO, and uh, yeah, I have already have put in a few games, but uh, let me just show you how to put in games. Once you have a game, it should say ISO file. When you have that, you just go to ISO, as I showed you before, and just simply drag it in. Takes a few seconds to copy it. So we're doing the step seven right now, drag it into PSP. So when this is done, I'm just gonna show you where you find these games. <laughs> yeah, well, when that is done just simply unplug your PSP and uh, alright so uh, when you're dragging the game to your PSP uh, you simply go to games and uh, go right down to where you found find your update so as you saw earlier I uh, keep the fast recovery and here's some games this is the games I already have in and this is the game I just put in so I'm going to show you that it's totally working right now. 